We all love a beach holiday. There is no better feeling than the hot sun on your skin, a cool drink at your lips, and the clear ocean at your toes. However, the oceans might not be clear for much longer. Oceanic plastic pollution is a huge problem and it's on the rise, with an estimated 8 million tonnes of plastic waste entering our oceans each year. That is equivalent to around 1,000 Eiffel Towers or 50,000 blue whales. There is even a patch of plastic waste bigger than the size of India floating in the Pacific Ocean. But what are the main polluters? Pictures of bottles, plastic bags and straws littering the ocean are fairly widespread and shocking. But, like all villains, the main offender is actually a lot sneakier. This is because it is something you can't even see. It turns out that microfibers shed from synthetic clothing actually make up the lion's share of plastic pollution, and they are everywhere. The ocean, our tap water, and even the air. Just one machine wash of a jumper made out of synthetic material can shed up to 250,000 microfibers. But where does all this plastic end up? Well, there is evidence to suggest that at least some of it may be entering the food chain. This is because repeated sun exposure causes plastic to become brittle, catalyzing its breakdown into ever smaller fragments. These then get consumed by small fish, which get eaten by bigger fish, which then get eaten by us. Indeed, a third of fish caught off the coast of England contain traces of plastic. So, is this the death knell for seafood paella? Not unless you are also going to give up salt. This is because microplastic particles have also been found in store-bought sea salt. Indeed, one study estimated that we could be consuming up to 660 particles of plastic each year just via our salt intake. Currently, not much is known about the effect ingested plastic may have on the human body. However, our research has shown that it may be activating inflammation. This is something that could have far-reaching consequences if true, as a lot of human diseases such as Alzheimer's, cancer and arthritis have an inflammatory component. Furthermore, it is unlikely that the body will be able to properly clear plastics, as they are a synthetic material that the body has not evolved to combat. Thus, it is likely to sit and collect within the body, aggravating it and causing problems, just like it does in the ocean. So next time you're using plastic, remember that it might not be only the ocean you're harming. My name is Bali Lee and I am a master's student at the University of Manchester.